Today we're going to be talking about the OSI model. This is Levi, he's my partner, mm -hmm. and we are going to be talking about all of the ways the internet works and how you yeah. receive an email. I'll be playing a little example of all of how this works in full succession at the end of our little introduction of all of this, so stay tuned for that. Well, the first layer is the physical layer. Uh, it is basically, it's all the physical components at the beginning, like your wires and your cables. And uh, it can also include wireless connections and um, the uh, information it uses is bits. Yeah. And uh, the second layer of the OSI model is the data link layer. This is where all of the Mac tables are stored from your computer sending your Mac address from your NIC to the switch which it stores on that specific port, which would be about right here. Whenever you're sending a packet, you're sending the source and your destination port, or ACK address, sorry. And uh, it's going out your switch on the other end to the third layer of the OSI model. Which is the network layer. Uh, this is where um, you'll get your IP, um, and it typically involves routers, uh, gateways, and networks. And uh, it puts takes your IP, this, its source and destination, and uh, your source and destination MAC, and uh, combines them into what is called a packet. The gateway is going to be the IP that this switch is connected to. So it would be this port, and it's, it's our 172.10.1.0 network. And it's connected to all these other networks. And this is our 172.10.2 network, which is going out to another another computer, which we're going to show you what the transport layer is now. So within the transport layer, there are ports. Lots and lots of ports. Well, let's just go in, in there and uh, show them. This is the different protocols for uh, Ethernet cables, uh, Cat5, Cat6. Yeah. B is the standard, A is typically for crossover. That's what I was trying to th say. Yeah. There are 65,535, and just for Miss Manning, I'm going to put a plus right here. Exactly. <coughs> plus, because th that number can change. It's just the current... <laughs> it's the current ports. Um... There, there's here's the common ports. I wrote some of these down. We've got HTTP, we've got FTP, DNS. Uh, there's DHCP over here, 67 and 68. That's um, you getting your own IP, which is the ARP, as we were talking about earlier. And uh, IMAP, which is emails. Uh, Telnet, which is to uh, yeah. I forget what Telnet is all the time. But it's it's used common a lot. Um, yeah, I mostly use it to play A C S I I. Uh, Star Wars. Star Wars. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've seen that. And th these are the ports that games use. Um, they've got Halo on port twenty three oh two. Steam is on port seventeen twenty five. Half Life is on port twenty seven zero fifteen. Uh, Call of Duty is on 28960, World of Warcraft, and Xbox Live. And this is nothing near all 65,000 ports. This is maybe 1,000 or 2,000 ports that we kind of built, mm. just as a little example. Yeah. This isn't actually the inside of an Ethernet cable. These are the wires. There are only eight wires in an Ethernet cable. These are just the ports that are within those eight wires which are just one copper thing. It's not 65,000 copper wires, it's just eight. <laughs> <laughs> Within the transport layer, there are two different protocols, TCP and UDP. On UDP, you can just send whatever you want through and not expect a reply back before you can send the next part. So I could be doing this, sending all of these packets over there to Levi, and he wouldn't care. So, no, I wouldn't. It's fine. You know, on TCP, uh, I'm gonna have to ask him. Hey, Levi, can I send a packet? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna send the first one. Did you get that? Oh, hey, I got that. All right, yeah. all right, I'm gonna send the next one. All right. Did you get that one? Yeah. All right, here comes the other one. Did you get that one? I got that. Okay. 
<laughs> All right, that's that's basically the TCP and UDP. Through the email port is where you're gonna get your email. I've got a little simulation going on here that I haven't stopped yet, but you're gonna get your email that's gonna come in through the back of your computer. It's gonna come up and it's gonna display on your monitor, which is the session layer, which we didn't discuss. Loading it is your session. Session is your buffering on your YouTube or all of that. It's dialogue control, basically. It's trying to tell you how fast you're going to download whatever you're downloading. The presentation is after session. Yeah, presentation layer, um, which basically handles like all your file extensions, like .exe or uh, you know your basically what you need to open programs and interact with programs like your .rars, .zips. Everyday files are usually people like us, our games, which are usually dot .exes? Yeah, typically. Or uh, dot .jars. Yeah, for dot .jars Minecraft. for Minecraft, yeah. You've got rinrar, which will open dot .rar files, and 7-zip, which will open those two. <laughs> the last layer is application layer, which is yeah. us actually opening the email as I have playing right here, and reading it. It's not anything more. It's what you are doing right now, watching this video. Exactly. You are using the application layer. Now, now we'll uh, do our little simulation. 